In this demonstration tutorial we're going to teach you how you can uh, change editor themes and we're going to go through full width and uh, full screen mode. All the uh, themes that come with the, the new latest version of uh, CJT Pro and CJT Dev and as you can see when I hover over this icon here we've got roughly 30 themes to choose from. We've got Ambience, which is a dark theme, Chaos, Chrome, Clouds, Clouds Midnight. I'll keep going through them so you can have a look. Dreamweaver, Idle Fingers. So we've got both light and dark themes. As I said, 30 odd to choose from. And you can choose one that suits your preference. And we finished on Xcode. So we can now click this icon here and what that does is it switches the code editor to full width mode. So this is the assignment panel here and it'll hide that assignment panel. And the icon changes to show the assignment panel again. So as you can see. And we can also click this icon here which switches the code editor to full screen mode. So as you can see the tooltip says switch code editor to full screen. I'll click that now. And it hides the WordPress uh, dashboard menu and you can see uh, the whole editor is maximized um, and you can scroll down this is some sample code from ajax.org so, and we can still use the change the themes with our switch editor themes toggle so I'm going to change it to let's see a dark theme ambience uh, crimson the blue theme cobalt looks pretty specky and we can also hide the assignment panel so we're maximizing the editor even further so it's very responsive now when I click these tabs it'll load up all the pages in the assignment panel this is where the this code block here I could um, assign it to these pages here if I check the checkbox and click the save button here it'll uh, assign this code block to this alert alert page I can also choose the sub pages by clicking the shaded checkbox here and I can uncheck it uh, we've got posts custom posts there's no custom posts at, uh, at the moment categories auxiliary which includes things like the entire website, website backend, all pages, you know, the blog index, uh, even error pages and, and so on. We've also got a tab called advance and that means you can put individual uh, URLs, uh, page URLs, uh, and it also supports expressions so we can click this one here and that'll show us the expressions. Now if I was to click back into pages and say I saved this checkbox here for alerts confirm page I can actually click this assigned and it will show us only the checked pages uh, we can click all and it'll show us all of the pages so this is quite a handy little toggle if you had you know hundreds of pages and with checkboxes all over the place you can actually see which checkboxes you assigned I'll say that and we'll just see the assigned checkboxes should be three alerts confirm forms and Jake gallery so it's quite a handy little toggle that one and that's it from me thanks for watching I'm Damien from CJT